Hey guys, how you doing? Getting ready to head down the trail. First solo weekend. Um, done a lot of overnighters uh, solo, but to be the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this will be the first weekend overnighter or weekend camp. Um, if all goes well, t two nights, three days. We'll see how that all goes. But uh, I'm going to be taking the trail here. That's an old road. I'll be taking that into my campsite instead of the uh, nature trail. It's a little bit rougher. I've got a little bit more, uh, further walk. I'm going to try and get into where a couple of ponds are and set up around the ponds if all goes well. Maybe do a little fishing and uh, catch my uh, food if I can. Coming up into a little clearing. Thinking the ponds are ahead of us if I remember correctly. There's the uh, reservoir at a distance over there. Yeah, it's an awful little pond, but I did make it to the pond. Or one of the ponds anyway. There's another one down the hillside there. I uh, walked down and checked it out, but uh, not much room around it. It's, uh, pretty crowded. I may have to make a clearing somewhere here and set up camp. Well, I put my fishing kit at the top of my uh, bag. And it's just a makeshift kit that I got because I didn't know if I'd get here to the ponds or even if there'd be access to them. But I uh, caught myself a little grasshopper. I'm going to throw that on there and uh, see how well I can cast that out there. Well, I had the line out for a little bit. Didn't catch anything. A bunch of little bitty fish were popping up. Not saying there isn't anything in there, but uh, nothing for right now. It's been pretty cool. It's supposed to warm up this afternoon. And uh, even as cool as it is, getting bit up pretty bad by mosquitoes already, which surprised me, really surprised me. Uh, don't think I'm going to set up camp here. I think I'm going to move away from this area. I have a feeling come evening time, it's going to be mosquito heaven, especially if it does warm up. I think I'm going to move on around and find one of the other campsites, or maybe away from the uh, ponds. I might slip back up here later, though, and try to get a line further out and see what happens. Let's go find a campsite. Doing a bit of bushwhacking here. Walking across the fields, trying to get to the trail. And I saw the uh, water down there, so I knew I was close. So I just decided to bushwhack over towards it. Oh, coming up on a campsite here. We'll bypass that to go up this way through the trail. Well, I think I found camp for the uh, weekend. I uh, went all the way to one end of the campsite and uh, looked for the ponds. You know, I came back across down the two little ponds I wanted to check out. Not really good for camping right now. Uh, it'd be great come winter time. Stopped by here earlier, kind of checked it out, went on, checked some other sites. Uh, kind of cool, a lot of people out here, a lot of campsites taken, but uh, that's good to see them out here. I'm gonna set up a shelter and uh, start gathering up some firewood.
time to get more firewood. Well, got the uh, shoulder all set up. Got my hammock, the equipped two-person hammock set up. Made some changes uh, on some of my gear, and I'll go over a little bit of that. On the hammock, the number one thing I changed is I changed out the uh, stock cordage. And I put it on whoopee sling straight to the uh, uh, hammock. I got a video on that that'll be up. It's a pretty easy fix. And cut you a lot of cordage that you don't need. A lot of extra weight. Cut you the uh, carabiner. Just weight that you don't need to be carrying. One of the other uh, additions that I've made to my hammock is I had the uh, inflatable mattress, uh, self-inflatable, and it got to be a little bit heavy to carry. So I'm switching to one of these egg crates, see what it's like. Uh, the one thing I did notice, it got beat up pretty badly. I don't know if you can see it, but it got beat up bad when I was uh, uh, bushwhacking through the uh, woods. So I'm going to have to find some kind of a cover for that. It got ate up pretty good. We'll see how that works tonight. On the tarp, I'm using the Bluestone tarp that I got from Wheels Gone Wild. It's the 10 by 12. As you can see, it only covers my hammock. Should do a good job. I have it in the uh, porch style, I call it. I really like this style. You have a drop side uh, for the rain, you know, the weather, keep it off from you. And the front, it's up so you can have a sitting area. Sit here and make your coffee in the morning, cook breakfast. If it gets rainy, you can drop the front down. Same issue if it gets too hot and you don't have enough air circulation, you can raise the back up. A lot of times I'll cut some uh, branches and make a post and then guy wire out from there to uh, do my corners. Well, I had the trees available. I didn't see the sense in cutting anything down. So that's the way I went with that. Okay, having set all the draw lines with a taut line hitch and a uh, toggle, piece of uh, wood toggle, when it comes time for a cleanup, it makes everything so much easier. Just slide the taut line. Pull the toggle out. There I use like a trucker hitch. I just go around, drop all the side, the other side, just remove from the uh, tent stake or the tree. Quick and easy setup and quick easy takedown. Well, we got the fire going. Let it burn down a little bit. Decide what's for supper. Most likely Mountain House. Do have some dehydrated food and a uh, MRE, but uh, it's been a long day. I think that uh, it'll be Mountain House. Quick, simple, easy. Beef stroganoff. Then after dinner, we're going to try the ice cream sandwich. Maybe be good. We'll find out. Pull out the oxygen absorber. that up, put it in the bag, and we'll give this a shot. Never had this one before. Got to get some water going for coffee. Well, just pulled out the uh, beef stroganoff out of here. Mixed it again a little bit. Let's give this a shot. Beef stroganoff with noodles. Mmm. Surprisingly good. He's pepper though. Now this is living. Coyotes. Come run through a few minutes ago. Sounds like they're coming back. Pretty 
pretty cool. Uh, what a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. Slept well. Time to get the fire going. Get some coffee going and some breakfast. Then a little update on the uh, new sleeping pad. This morning I was going to have the uh, pork sausage MRE. Sorry, I got some noisy Boy Scouts right down the road there. <laughs> but uh, I was going to try the MRE 17 pork sausage patty that I had forgotten. I brought some farm eggs. Good thing about farm eggs, they're fresh. If they haven't been washed, these can stay on the counter for quite a while. You can carry them with you. No worries about refrigeration. Just make sure you wash them off before you uh, use them. I got my uh, cast iron skillet there on the fire, warming up. We'll get these going. Fresh eggs in the morning. Can't beat that. Oh, maybe I should have put these again. See how that goes. Fun part's going to be flipping it. I don't have a spatula. And yes, I forgot a glove. Oh, look at that! I broke the yoke, but that's going to be just fine. That's going to be just fine. One good thing about uh, cooking with cast iron: quick, easy cleanup. Wipe it out. Maybe season it again with a little oil. Done. Remember to bring a glove though. Okay guys, I wanted to give you a little update on the uh, Coleman sleep pad that I got from Walmart. Uh, I can't remember what they call it, egg crate or something like that. I think it's called egg crate. I was really pleased with this last night. There was no slippage. It fit well into my hammock. Uh, my old uh, self-inflatable mattress, I slid, slid around a lot in my uh, hammock. I didn't have that issue at all. This added a layer of warmth that I was really, really pleased with. I had laid in the sleeping bag without this. And this was when it was still daylight and I could feel the convection, I could feel the cool air coming up through the sleeping bag. I placed this in the hammock placed my uh, sleeping bag over it, and it was 10.30, 11 o'clock when I started going to bed last night, and as soon as I crawled in, I couldn't believe the warmth. Uh, it probably dropped to about 40, maybe a little below last night. Not a bit of cold air. Uh, this morning, I kind of rolled my arm off inside the sleeping bag off the uh, mat just to feel the difference, and automatically I could feel the coolness coming through the hammock, through the sleeping bag, onto my arm. So, uh, guys, pretty good little bargain from Walmart. I'm shocked that that uh, worked out well. As I said, there was no slippage and added a good layer of warmth. Might want to check one of these out. And uh, fairly light to carry. Well, now comes the time we all dread, not just packing it up, but the leaving camp. Not the going home, but the leaving camp. It's always kind of the sad part of the uh, trip, but uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, coming out and spending an overnighter with me. I was hoping to make it uh, two nights, but uh, unfortunately I have to go home. I have. Uh, Somebody coming to work on something, so I need to be there. I wasn't sure if that was going to happen, but that's the way things go. Anyway, guys, I hope I see you out in the woods. Thanks for watching.